because a lot of these things that you're talking about with this non-amnestic presentation can look like very common symptoms of perimenopause. It's like they're depressed, they have HBA axis dysfunction, as you mentioned, exquisitely sensitive to stress, sensitive to hormonal changes. So we can, we, you know, as clinicians, we might look at that and say, oh, this woman is, um, and then you might get tests to, to confirm, yes, her estradiol levels are lower, or yes, her progesterone levels are lower or whatever it is. And so we can miss uh, this this presentation of what may look like really bad perimenopause, which is more, you know, instead of it being perimenopause, and it may, part of it may be that, but it could also be that there's some development in the Alzheimer's realm. Great point. Uh, yeah, I think you hit, really hit the nail on the head. 